Good evening and welcome to Pfeiffer's Podcast. I'm Mark Pfeiffer, sports editor of the Virginian Review, and welcome to our weekly feature brought to you by Alcova Mortgage. For all your mortgage needs, go see Jason Hemmentaler up at Alcova Mortgage. It's a special Pfeiffer's Podcast as my guest tonight is the one and only Jalen Ford from Bath County High School, James Madison University, and the Akron Racers. And Jalen, in just about a half an hour, we'll have her... Uh, Jersey retired here at uh, Bath County High School. And Jalen, first of all, I appreciate you uh, waiting waiting on dinner and giving me about 15 minutes of your time. But Jalen, um, it's been a, a whirlwind the, the past, uh, I don't know, a lot of years, eight, 10, whatever. Yes. But uh, we'll go back to Bath County High School days. And I, and I jotted down some numbers here that are just crazy. The 2011, 2012 state champions up here, uh, you personally, the 80 and 9 one loss record, 1,080, uh, 1,065 strikeouts, 21 homers. Uh, first of all, what? Uh, give me some memories of of high school softball up here at Bath County. Um, I, I think it, it was just a lot of fun, um, especially those last two years. Um, even working up to my junior and senior year, we were always kind of pushing for regionals and uh, working hard day in and day out at practice. So. Um, you know, a lot of those memories come in those last couple of weeks of school and, you know, you're finishing up some exams and um, competing for a state championship. And even um, my senior year when I got to walk across the stage, I was late because we had just uh, had a regional game. So um, there are a lot of memories I go back to softball and, you know, hitting a home run through a bus, bus window. You know, that doesn't happen twice usually. So um, it, it was a lot of fun and you can only uh, smile and look back. Anytime you win a championship, at any level, it's huge. And I think, uh, you know, that time up here with the female athletes, it was right about the time the volleyball team was mm -hmm. doing really well. Mm -hmm. uh, they won a state championship. You guys won two of them. So, you know, anytime you can win a championship, no matter at what level, it's special. Right, absolutely. And I think a lot of those kids um, had the good work ethic and a lot of um, – dedication to the sport and uh, they not only played softball but they played volleyball as well and you could right. see that um, it, you know it paid off not only in a state cha championship in softball but also in volleyball. So then the recruiting process starts and and we're wondering where Jalen Ford's going to college and and in the end you decide on uh, James Madison University and uh, a decision I know that uh, you really haven't regretted what a f what a four years it's been uh, at JMU. Right. Absolutely. Um, I mean, looking back on it, um, something about it just, just made me want to want to go to JMU. It, was, it felt like home as soon as I stepped on campus. Um, and, and being an hour and a half away from home helped too. Just yeah. having the, the moral support from home and being able to go home on the weekends and, and knowing that my parents and my family could come up and watch some home games and, and support the Dukes was huge. And, you know, it was just a great academic uh, university and had great facilities. Just have uh, asked for a better university and you came you kind of came in on the ground floor of what um, what's been built at JMU coach Dean comes at the, the same mm -hmm. time you come mm -hmm. and you and Erica Field uh, who is also playing professional softball uh, talk about maybe being on the on the the kind of the ground floor of building what uh, what has come to be a, a national power in softball um, <laughs> It was a lot of hard work, that's for sure. Um, from day one, I remember walking off my first uh, conditioning test my freshman year and, and crying. You know, it, it was tough. It was a lot harder than anything I'd ever gone through. Um, and I wanted to quit that moment, but uh, something just kept me going. And um, that first year, it paid off. And then, um, I mean, down the road, you could see that the, the program was changing year to year. Um, and finally, our senior senior season, you could see that our fan base grew from about 200 people to about 2,000. Um, you sell out Super Regionals in like three minutes. Um, it, it's just a, a whole program changer. And I think that senior class um, this past year, you know, me, Erica, and uh, Hannah really uh, bought into Coach Dean and his process and, and, and the way he taught. And, and I think that helped. And hopefully it will continue to uh, be a powerhouse down the road. Uh, Jalen, a three-time All-American at JMU. Uh, four consecutive NCAA tournaments. You know, the, the list can go on and on and on, the records that you set, both pitching and hitting. But you, t you talked about the first, the first conditioning test. What was the biggest difference between high school softball and college softball? Um, honestly, uh, it, it was a lot more physically demanding. You know, I hadn't had to work out as much uh, to stay in shape. And honestly, it was, it was the mental side of it, too. Um, 
I was pushed a whole lot harder and you know, kind of broken down and then built back up to um, be a lot stronger and be able to deal with pressure situations. And, and that's something that you really didn't get to experience much in high right. school. Um, it wasn't that much competition until you got into regionals right. or to right. state uh, playoffs. So um, from day one, even in our preseason, you had to be able to have that mental toughness to compete against some of those powerhouse schools or the um, SECs, the ACCs. So. You talk about JMU, and I was lucky enough. I, I got to come up there a couple times each year to watch you play. And the support uh, that you got from your family, from Bath County, uh, and, and what was crazy, the, the, the LSU Super Regional, it, it, didn't matter, it didn't matter where I went in Covington, you know, people were talking about JMU softball, which was kind of crazy. I mean, uh, nobody even knew that existed before Jalen Ford and, and that senior class came. Talk about maybe the support that, that you got. I know I'm good friends with your dad who never missed a college game, which is a story in itself. But uh, the support that you got uh, from everywhere is tremendous. Oh, it, it was huge. And we couldn't have been more thankful for that so sort of support from um, all over. I mean, we had – uh, people message us or tweet us from all over the United States rooting for us. And, you know, even though they considered us the underdog, especially this past year, we didn't think that way at all. But um, I think it, it comes from a lot of our community outreach and right. a lot of community service volunteer hours that we put into. Um, it, it shows that not only are we just athletes, but, you know, we're students and we are community supporters as well. Um, that it's more of a lifestyle that we're trying to breed rather than, you know, it's, it's not just a sport. Right. So. so this spring, um, I'm watching the, the NPF draft. Uh, I made it, I recorded it and then I rushed home because I said, you know, Jalen's going to get picked at some point and it, it didn't have to wait long first round, the Akron racers. And there you are up on the big stage and now you're getting paid yes. to play softball. That's yes. pretty cool. It is. It really is. <laughs> Never would have thought that would happen, but it's awesome. All right, give me a different. We talked about the difference from high school to college, mm -hmm. and um, you know I think high school high school softball, college softball, pretty much pitching dominant. Mm -hmm. And watching the NPF, I get to watch a little bit on television. Now we're talking. Uh, you got some some great hitters, and mm -hmm. tell me about the adjustment going from now from the college to the professional level. Right. Um, so in, in college, a lot of our strategy was to uh, attack the strike zone early in the count uh, and get ahead of your batters. Um, but in college, you're only facing three to four, maybe five good batters throughout the lineup. <laughs> right. uh, once you get into the NPF, you have a ton of great hitters, not only one through nine in the lineup, but coming off the bench. So even if somebody pinch hit for somebody, um, for somebody else, you were still, you weren't able to attack the same way as you right. were in college. So. It allowed for us to change game plans, and I struggled with that kind of a um, couple weeks into the season. I had to change my game plan. They were starting to pick me up. There's only six teams in the league, so um, eventually word gets around what you throw and where you throw it. So um, from each at bat and from each game, you really have to change your game plan and, and not have that same idea from, right. from game to game. Right. Just some uh, the professional the professional aspect of things, and, and uh, I know you guys had a pretty good fan base at, in – in Akron, mm -hmm. um, being a professional, you know, how did it, how did it change you and, and your approach maybe to the game? Um, I think that's a tough question. Um, I think that it really made me realize how passionate you have to be about the sport. Um, you know, you don't get paid that whole, that that much in the NPF, or um, and and that's something that's trying to change. But for right now, you really just have to be dedicated to those three months to. Um, be the best professional you can be. And it's only three months out of the year. You can't ask for much more than that. But I'm um, very thankful to, to be able to play softball and get paid for it. But uh, at the same time, you know, it's tough. You really have to be passionate about the sport. So now you're back in Harrisonburg. You're mm -hmm. listed on the website now as a volunteer assistant coach for the yes, Dukes. Yeah. Um, talk about that transition. I know you guys have start, started fall workouts. Mm -hmm. I think I saw where the, maybe next weekend you start playing some fall mm -hmm. games. So Jalen Ford, the coach now, uh, <laughs> right. that's been an adjustment, I'm sure. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, and I, I brought a couple teammates with me tonight, but you think of it as, you know, last year we were teammates, but now I'm kind of the coach side of it. So um, it, it's been hard adjusting to um, have a, a different relationship with the players rather than, you know, being the, their friend. you got to be able to coach them as well. Um, but as a volunteer, too, it's a lot of just man work and, and – um, long hours to uh, set up stuff for the right. for the field and 
uh, which is fun, and I, I've been able to learn a lot of different positions that I, uh, that I wasn't able to in the past due to um, being only a pitcher in a right. first base. So right. Right. Um, learning a lot, and I'm, I'm excited about it, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to coach as well and take some of those fundamentals that I've learned into, uh, into the field. And I read about an opportunity you might have next spring in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, I know, I think Angela Tincher, who – Y'all's careers are kind of just it just the path just just, <laughs> just crazy. Uh, yes. She was also an Akron racer. Got picked at the exact same pick mm -hmm. in the NPF draft. Uh, played for Akron. Also played in Japan. Talk mm -hmm. about that Japan opportunity and, and maybe what it entails. Um, well, one it'll be a whole lot more money. It's a, a lot more competitive out there. But uh, super thankful to even be given the opportunity. Um, it would allow for me to play total nine months out of the year rather than just three so i would play march through june go to akron for those three months and then from august or september ish through november i would i would go back so i, th I think it's a really good opportunity for me to learn a, a, about a different culture uh different parts of the game and how they're it, how it's played over there it's a lot um that's a lot different and um, I, I think it'll be, fu be fun and a good cultural experience for me. A lot of the girls in the NPF play overseas? Uh, um, quite, quite a few. Um, Japan actually has a rule where only two Americans can play per team so okay. that they, it's not overpowering. Kinda, right. But uh, a lot of kids will play over in Italy or um, Japan and, and try to just stay active during those uh, off seasons, off months. In about an hour, you'll walk on the football field here and, and you'll have your jersey retired. Just tell me uh, what that means to you. First uh, female ever here at the high school to have your jersey retired. Um, definitely a credit to you, your family, and the coaching staff up here. Definitely. Um, super thankful again. Um, I mean, my whole career has been uh, a blessing. But to be able to come back to the place I spent four years, um, putting a lot of hard work and sweat into – um, it, it means a lot that they're able to to do this, and it's it's not even just about me. It's it's about the high school. It's about the community. It's about you know female sports in general. So hopefully this, you know, inspires the youth or inspires little little girls to um, have something to to look up to and and look forward to um, later in their careers, and, and maybe it's something that paves the way for female sports in the future to retire other athletes' jerseys as well. And so. certainly, you know. Your, your story coming from the small community of Bath County all mm -hmm. the way to the NPF. I mean, if, if you're good enough and you're willing to work hard enough, you yes. know, you're, you're going to be able to be successful. Yes, and, and for the past, I don't, I don't know, eight years probably my whole kind of mentality is small town, big dreams. You know, it doesn't matter where you come from or where you go to, from high school to college, college JMU being a mid-major, um, to Akron being one of the uh, um, lowest paid uh, paying professional teams you know it, it doesn't matter where you go or where you come from that you just got to make the best of that experience and and put in as much hard work as you can to you know you, you could be a program changer folks Jalen Ford uh definitely a class act and and uh Allegheny Highlands Bath County really proud of her uh, accomplishments not only here at Bath County but uh at JMU and with Akron and certainly Jalen will be following your career and thank you for your time thank you I appreciate it so much Again, thanks to Alcova Mortgage for being our sponsor, and we'll be back next week with another edition of Pfeiffer's Podcast on TheVirginianReview.com.